Hey my friends, what's going on? It's your boy Kato here on a beautiful, beautiful day my friends. So today guys in this video, I want to talk about how to overcome fear forever, okay? Now fear is one of the things that plagues my life throughout my whole entire beginning of life to, you know, meet age adult, okay? I've had so many different fears. Even getting in front of the camera is one of the things that I had to overcome before I can actually do that with lucidity. Like doing it and I know how powerful that is. So I want to share with you a couple of concepts that's going to help you overcome your fears because I've been there. I remember going through high school. I was the type of student I would not raise my hands in class. And if I knew I had to speak, I would go to the bathroom before they get to me. That's how fearful I was. My mind, soon that I get in front of an audience, or you could even be going and speak to a girl that I like, I would start sweating, I would be afraid, and my mind would start running 300 miles per hour. I just wouldn't know how to control it. So that plagued me throughout my whole life, even when I get to college, you know, I would know the answer in the classroom. I would not raise my hands because I was fearful, you know. Now here's the thing. Um, I started looking at myself when I was fearful, there was a pattern. Now, if you have fears in your life, whatever that you're fearful of, you know, earlier I was doing some thinking is, you know, it's usually in the past or the future. Because most of the present fears that we have, what we're going to have to it is going gonna, is gonna to be emotions, okay? Emotion is energy, emotion. So at the moment when it's happening, you're going to have energy, emotions, right? Energy in motion. But most of the fears that we have, they usually happen in the past. Maybe you have a fear of a snake. It was something that happened. You saw a snake maybe years ago and you kept it with you. Or maybe you've learned that fear from your surrounding or from where you grew up, from the people that you know that always talks about snake being a, you know, a, a bad a bad animal so that therefore that creates that fear with you or it's usually from a situation that happens in the past which you're not living in the past you must realize that you're living in the present or the next type of fear would be a fear of the future maybe you and your friend decided hey we're gonna jump about out of an airplane and before you go do that jump <laughs> you stay the whole night thinking you can't go to sleep you're just thinking the whole night or maybe tomorrow you have to give a presentation in class or your first speech and you just sit there agonizing. You're just thinking about it. How you're going to be sucked, how things is just going to happen. So what you realize at that moment is that fear is the image that we picture for ourselves. It's how we process the information in our head. When I realized that, I stopped processing the all worst possible outcome that could happen. Okay, and start processing the best possible outcome that could happen. And now you see that you have a different demeanor. Like your physiology will totally, literally change. Let's say I'm talking about, for example, like right now, um, next month I'm hosting my first event. See, there's gonna be a lot of people there. And, you know, we're going to have a great time. A lot of people is going to learn how to take their lives to the next level, their business to the next level. This is something I've never done. So does it come with fear? I could sit there. I could sit at home and just think about, oh, this event is going to be the worst. Like People is not going to show up. It's going to be crazy, right? But here's what I want you to realize. On the same thing, there's the other side of the spectrum. The other side of the spectrum is where you're thinking about the positive outcome. So you're giving a speech, you're thinking about, oh, maybe people is not receiving it. Maybe people, they don't, they don't relate to what I'm saying. Maybe I sound dumb. What if you flip that at the moment and say, this is amazing. This is going to be my greatest speech ever. What I have is going to change people's lives. What I have to say, it matters. I think this is going to change the lives around me. So it needs to be said. It must be heard. And I'm going to fulfill my purpose by doing it regardless of how I feel. So automatically, you went from a stance being down, like saying, oh, this is not going to be good. It's not going to work out. So now, when you're speaking into your greatness, you say, hey, this is going to be amazing. Your body, everything, the way you feel, your physiology change, and now it start pertaining a different light, but on the same side of the spectrum that you could be thinking about something negative. That's why mindset is everything. A lot of the time, we're going to have to learn to grow from our fear versus just submit to it. 
a lot of people what ended up happening like for me in my case when I was in high school and I was going through these moments of fear the first time I felt paralyzed by fear that my body at that moment was bursting out energy like a lot of people will have it differently some people they'll start sweating like in the hair or in the head their hands start shaking some people their stomach will start grunching and they'll have different way of expressing that fear like in my case I was sweating profusely like I felt like my mind was running 300 miles per hour people experience it bodily they express it differently not understanding it's just an emotions that is being expressed to how they feel at the moment but here's the thing once you learn that you can use that emotion that burst of emotion behind whatever that you're trying to accomplish right that's why sometimes you'll see people you hear people mothers who just jump out of nowhere and lift up a car that was gonna kill the daughter or you know if the daughter the babies get under a car they suddenly have the strength to just go there's no fear they use all the emotions and adrenaline just start flowing you can use and pattern and channel that emotion towards what you want to accomplish let's say for public speaking for example you have this fear and instead of just freezing and panic you can start learning how do you channel that emotion how you feel how do you channel it behind your message to stay confident to stay relaxed to know that you got everything in control like this moment shall pass right so most of the time the things that we fearful of 95 percent of the time they never end up happening right let's say you have the fear of snake the last time i encountered a snake and me and my wife was actually walking to the door and there was the snake coming and she run and i ran to the car it was crazy right because we had that fear like something was gonna happen but that was five years ago that was five years ago that's a long time and that was probably the one time that happened in so many years but yet you keep that encounter in your mind that happened and if someone was to ask you about a snake right now you say oh I have the fear of snake or maybe I'll be fearful based on a situation that passed that happens in the past to a situation that might happen in the future but in the present it's not happening for the last five years it's not happening so if I kept that memory with me and kept worrying about a snake attacking me for the last five years I probably wouldn't even leave my life and sometimes we paralyze ourselves from the old memories that we carry right from the old memories and sometimes it's not even created by us it's created by people or stories that we've heard maybe we've never even encountered certain things in our life but we've heard it from somebody else so we carry their fears and makes it our own burden now what about when you experience your own fear how can you be better you know knowledge is power when you know what you're dealing with right you understand that how your body is reacting whatever you are reacting is just an emotion the thing with emotion they changes all the time and they they don't last forever you can be angry today I promise you someday I'm gonna catch you in some joy right you might be smiling you might be happy at the same time someday I might find you mad something might happen see emotion doesn't last forever whatever emotion you experience it so knowing that information you can give in into the emotions that you want to give in now here's the fears that you should pay attention to now you're not looking into if you fear of a snake right your goal is not to look into getting that snake to you right it's, it's not to see it but here's the fear that I want you to pay attention to I think it's one of the worst fears that people can have is the fear of doing the things that you know you want like you might not want to see a snake but maybe your life goal is that you want to become the best version of yourself maybe you want to become a cook maybe you want to start your own business the things that you want versus just the fear of things that you don't want see what we focus on it expand I want to start thinking about what are the things that you want to accomplish in your life but you have a fear that's stopping you from accomplishing these things now this is the fear that you must learn how to overcome like right now I'm not trying to go outside to a bunch of snakes like if I if I'm fear of snakes I'm not trying to get bitten by a snake that's not the fear I want to overcome but I'm talking about public speaking for myself 
this is something I have to learn how to overcome. I'm having an event. I want to exp- I want to spin my message. I want to help other people all over the world. This is something I want to establish. I want to do. Right? You want to go into a class and give a presentation and get people to see what you got. You want you want to take your life, your business to the next level. You don't know how to communicate with people. Maybe that's a fear that you want to overcome. Maybe you want to write your own first book and you've been putting it on the shelf because you keep saying to yourself, maybe it's not going to be great. Maybe you want to start your first video on YouTube, but you keep saying to yourself, oh, I don't have the best voice. I don't have the best camera. I don't have the best face. I don't have all the best things, but your message is so important. When you have the feel of actually getting in front of a camera and communicate with thousands and growing thousands of people with your message, with what you have to share and what you have to offer. And you want See, that's different when you want this versus something you don't want, the fear of something that you don't want. Here's the fear of something that you want. Someone says that everything that we want is behind our fears. We're going to have to overcome something to get there. So if your goal is to make your first video, you're going to have to overcome, learn how to overcome those fears. You know, most people will say hey, it's by doing you're going to get better. You're going to get much more confident. But when you know what you're dealing with, get all the information and you start doing, you know what you're going through, you know how you feel, you know what's going through your mind. Your mind is running 300 miles per hour right now because there's a camera that just clicked in front of you and you've never been in front of the camera. You know there's people watching on the other end of the line. So your mind is not sane anymore. But as you keep doing this stuff, repetition is the mother of all skills, you're going to get better because you know that fear is nothing but false evidence appearing real. You know right now, you know your information. You know what you got to offer. You know it's going to change life. You know this stuff, it must be out there to serve its purpose. But the fear is stopping you. So in order for you to overcome that, you're going to get into doing. And when you do it, whatever you do with fears, right, in the beginning, it's going to start out with fears. You're not going to know what to say. You're not going to do it well. But you are willing to fail and learn. When you're willing to fail and learn, what's going to happen, you're going to get better and better and better. So as you keep failing, you already know the process, you know the pattern. So even if you're failing, as you're watching this video, if you need to give a presentation, if you give 10, I promise you, you're going to get better by the 11th one. You know, and as you keep doing it, it's a continuous process. You get better. The fear start disappearing and you start feeling better. You start getting better. Your emotion, you start able to channel that fear into an emotion that can translate into something positive because fear and confidence, they are two sides of the same coin. So which one are you going to use? Mental image, the picture that we picture for ourselves is so important because that's how we see it. Because at the same time, you can see this thing is the worst thing that could happen to you. At the same time, you can see it on the other hand, find the best in every situation, someone says. Anyway, guys, I wanted to share my experience. That has been my experience dealing with fears. I've dealt with that stuff my whole life. I don't know about you. Let me know down below in the comment, has it ever been somewhere in your life sometimes that you wanted to do something? You know you want to do it, but the fear has stopped you from actually making it happen either based on all fears that you knew or maybe on the future not expect not knowing what to expect not knowing what's behind it maybe you're gonna fail maybe things are not gonna work out but you're gonna learn and grow see once you make that thing as a long-term goal and a long-term process there's no failure failure cannot happen because you're always gonna learn something you're gonna grow you're gonna do something you never did before and the best possible scenario can happen where you blow up and you do something amazing with whatever that you was fearful of. Anyway, guys, I wanted to share my testimonial with you. Let me know what you think. That was Cater. Appreciate you. Check out my other videos. Click here. Subscribe down below. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.